this is Elena Kraus and welcome to another card video. Today we're going to make three cards using the upcoming release from Scrappy Tales that will be released on Friday, March 12th. So let's take a, cl a closer look at the products I'll be using today. It's the Circle Sentiment, Here Beautiful. Then we have the Oopsie Daisy Stamp Set and Coordinating Dice. There's also the Layering Daisy Dice Set. And also I will be using the Mama Bird stamp set for the sentiment for one of the cards that we are making today. So let's get started. We're going to make three cards and I'm going to make them all together instead of one by one. I've already pre-cut mask um, in shape of hexagon. I'll be using the negative. So but here you see the positive image of that hexagon or just the hexagon. I'm centering it on my card front. This is a, a white cardstock panel that measures four by five and a quarter. And I'm making sure that it's nice and center before I adhere the mask around it. I'm not adhering the sentiment, the not the sentiment, but the hexagon. I'm just adhering the mask around it. And then I will remove the hexagon and apply ink in the center. So we have that nice and secure there. I added post-it tape on the top. I'm starting to ink blend some Distress Oxide ink. I'm using broken, broken China and also I'll be using tumbled glass. So I'm applying the light color on uh, the top of the hexagon and I will actually that was the tumbled glass and now I'm adding the broken China towards the bottom. It, looks a bit, it is a little bit darker blue. So we get like nice gradient between colors so it's not that ink blending area, it's not flat. Now we're going to remove the mask. And even though I created two masks, I decided to reuse the second mask. So that looks good and I'll set that aside. Now I'm grabbing my second panel. So for this one, besides the hexagon masking, we're going to do a little bit more masking. And I'll show you in a second. We're going to stamp the Oopsie Daisy uh, stamp set or the images, one of the daisies. So I decided to stamp the daisy that's on the top right and then one of the bees. So I'm uh, just pulling out the coordinating dies and what I'll do is die cut ma uh, those from masking paper. So by magic of YouTube I already have those. Now I'm adding those where I want the images to be, but instead of stamping the image, I'm adding the mask. So that will mask our area and we're just going to blend around it. Once we remove the images, the, the mask will have white space and we're going to stamp in that white space and this will give us a uh, full dimension, a look of a dimension, but even though our panel is flat. So I'm adding tumble glass towards the bottom and uh, broken china towards the bottom and tumble glass on the top. So this is this goes quicker since we have less area to cover with the ink. So now let's remove the mask. And you can see that white area. Now I'm putting my panel in my stamp positioning tool. And I will pull the coordinating stamps that go in uh, with those um, die cut masks. So we are starting with the B. I'm adding some blank ink. I'm using Copic friendly or alcohol friendly ink because we're going to color those uh, just in a bit. So we stamped the B. Now I'm doing the same with the flower. Since the uh, those stamps are clear, we can easily see where to position them so they're nicely centered in that white space that we left. So I'm adding the ink. Let's stamp one more time to have nice and crisp and intense black uh, image. So I think I'm satisfied with that one. So while I have already my panel into my Misty, I will go ahead and stamp the sentiment. I'm using Mama Bird's uh, set to pull out sentiment from there. I'm using one of the 
creative corners to make sure that that sentiment is nice and straight. And we're stamping in black. I'm gonna stamp one more time to get nice saturated black for that image, for that sentiment. So we have those two. Just put this white panel into my Misty for later use. So now we're going to die cut the Your Beautiful sentiment. And I thought I was going to use black glitter paper. So I'm die cutting from the black glitter paper, also three layers from just plain black cardstock. However, I decided just to use the black cardstock. Once so, I die cut three of those and I'm just removing the excess, the little die cuts around the sentiment. So I have three of those and I'll adhere them all together to get nice dimension of that sentiment. I'm adding liquid, strong liquid glue on the back. I'll just tack them together. So I'm adding that one on the back there, making sure they're all lined up. While the glue is still uh, wet. And then I'll add more glue. And then I'll add the third one on top. Again, I'm making sure that they're nice and lined up so we have nice and crisp uh, sentiment. In the meantime, while that is drying, I'm taking a circle in the middle of a uh, white cardstock panel. Again, my panel measures four by five and a quarter. So secure that die using some uh, repositionable tape. And now in the back, I have one more panel that measures the same size, four by five and a quarter. And I decided to stamp in the back to stamp one of the daisies. So I centered that around the circle that we already die cut. So I'm stamping on the panel that's not die cut. I'm using pale gray ink. Here and actually I decided that I wanted to go a little bit darker gray. I didn't want to do black because the sentiment is black. I wanted the sentiment to stand out. So that's why I'm doing gray ink in the background. So now I'm going quit um, embossing um, kind of solvent ink, but I'm embossing it with um, clear embossing powder. So once I color with uh, alcohol markers, uh, the alcohol markers don't bleed or the ink doesn't bleed while I color. So we have everything stamped now. Let's go on to coloring the daisies and the other images. So I'm just starting with very pale yellow and then I'll go with gray to get that kind of white look for the daisy. I'm using very pale uh, yellow and very pale gray. I'm just pulling that darker gray towards the outside of the petals. Adding a little bit darker yellow around the center. And now we're going to color the center in yellow. I'm just doing some basic coloring. I'm not doing any fancy blending. It's very easy to color those. It's, we, uh, since we already have the shading lines already in the images, it's really easy to get that shaded look. We're going to color the stem and the leaves. I'm just adding, I'm just coloring one of the leaves because underneath that circle cut out, we won't see much of the branch or the stem, much of the stem and the leaves. So I think that looks good. Now I die cut another mask. I will mask the flower and I'll ink blend uh, some blue ink around it. So I'm adding a tumble glass here. I'm just adding around the flower since we're not going to see the rest of the panel underneath. So I think that's good. Remove the panel and there we have it. So 
So next, let's color the next uh, image. And this is the other daisy that's a little bit larger. Again, I'm coloring it in the same way as the previous one. Added uh, pale yellow, which was Y32. Uh, and then I'm adding grays N0 and N1. Adding it the Y35, which is a little bit darker yellow, around the center. Now we're going to color the center of the flower. I'm using the Y38, Y35, and Y32, along with E43 for a little bit deeper uh, kind of shadow around the center. And I'm blending it everything, blending everything together. And now we're going to color the stem and the leaves. I, I'm using the YG67, YG63, and YG61. I'm just doing very quick coloring here. Can I make sure that's nice and blended? I think that looks good. And now we are using, uh, we are coloring the B. I'm using the BG quadruple zero and BG triple zero for the wings, and the same yellows for uh, for the B that I already used on the center of the flower. So now for the third card, I'll be using the daisy layering dies. I just cut the dies uh, twice from thick white cardstock. I use 130 pound cardstock. And I'm just looking here to see which of the daisies I want to use for my card. So I think I'll use that stem, that uh, set of flower petals, and that center. Let's see. Those are not quite the same. I was thinking about maybe layering them, but um, I'll layer them on the second set of uh, the die cuts. So I think that looks good. Now I'm grabbing the same colors of um, Copic markers that I colored the other two images. I'm just coloring the die cuts. I'm quickly coloring those. Okay, I think the stem is good. I didn't color all the way down because we're gonna end up uh, trimming that um, stem in just a second. Now we're going to color the daisy. Again, I'm using the same uh, yellows and grays. I think that look good. And now the center. I'm going to color it yellow. I'm going to add a little bit darker yellow on the top of that daisy or around the center. I think that looks good. So now let's pick a sentiment. I think that one will look there um, just fine. So I'm using again my Misty to stamp the sentiment. And I will use black ink. I'll stamp it a few times to make sure that we have nice uh, coverage. I'm stamping it a couple times here, and then I'll go with VersaFine, which is even uh, more intense black. So we have that there, and now what we have left to do is to assemble our daisy. I'm pulling out the second set of die cuts. So I'm adding some adhesive on the uh, top of that white die cut and on top of it I'll adhere the already colored ones one and I'll do the same with the center the flower center and the flower petals so for the flower petals I'm just adding adhesive on the top and then what I'll do I will lift the top petals to get a little bit more dimension so I think that's good there and I'll do the same 
with the flower center, I'm just going to stack those together. Okay, so um, the stem, the flower stem looks good. I just trimmed the end there. I'll go ahead and apply glue on the back and adhere it to my card panel. So next I'll use some foam tape, skinny strips foam tape to add the flower petals. I'm removing the adhesive on the back and we're going to do the same with the center of the flower. So for this flower center, I decided to stack two little pieces of foam adhesive. So it's a little bit taller than the flower petals because otherwise it will, instead of top, will kind of collapse towards the back of it. So I added one piece and then I decided that I need one more piece there and I used the thinner one so it looks good. Next what we have left is just to assemble our cards. So I'm adding some strong adhesive on the back of um, that window, circle window panel. I'm adhering on top on the daisy panel. I'm adding some liquid adhesive on the back of the circle sentiment that says you're beautiful. I'm adding that on top there. So I added uh, the acrylic block there to make sure that it dries nice and flat. In the meantime, I'm uh, creating my card bases. I'm using black cardstock, four and a quarter by eleven. I'm scoring at five and a half and then folding in half. I'll use the same uh, black cardstock for all three cards. So we have our three card bases there. Next, I have. Um, some foam, craft foam. I'm adding strong adhesive on back of my stamp panels. I'm adding the craft foam and then liquid adhesive and I will adhere to the card bases. So the liquid adhesive gives me a little bit more wiggle room to move that panel around to make sure that it's nice and straight. I'm doing the same for the second card adding it to my card base and then we have one more left so I had from the bottom layer there I have a little bit of cardstock on the sign poking out it was barely noticeable but I could see it there and it was bugging me a little bit so what we have um, left here is to add that little dot on top of the eye. I had uh, three uh, little pieces left on the side. So I'm using a jewel picker to pick that little dot and then adding adhesive on top of it to adhere each layer. So we have two there so far and we're going to add the third one. I'm using the pokey tool to move that around and then I added a little bit more adhesive and now I'm adding that third dot for the eye. So okay, let's take a closer look at the cards we just made. And those are the three cards. Thanks for watching. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my blog, my YouTube channel and visit my blog for more ideas and inspiration. Thanks for watching. Bye.